This video highlights the difference that Clearwater Industries equipment and chemistry makes in a sand and gravel settling pond situation. At this facility, they're treating 1,600 gallons per minute of effluent. Here you're seeing the untreated um, flurry that's being dosed into the pond. Here you're seeing the sand screw overflow where we dose the coagulant. Uh, the coagulant is dosed via this LQ50 liquid dosing skid. And here you're seeing the polymer solution entering uh, the pond right near the discharge um, of the slurry pipe. This is a shot of the M500 SS dry polymer makedown system. Um, we do offer a lifetime warranty on these systems for as long as Clearwater Industries chemistry is running through them. Any replacement uh, parts that are necessary are provided free of charge. And now you're seeing the settling pond um, where all those solids are dropping out of suspension and um, they're ready to be excavated um, with an excavator. Previously, they were getting very soupy buckets when they would muck these ponds. Um, and now you're about to see the difference that the, uh, the chemistry has made as far as the handleability of those solids. So as you could hear Nathan say there, that's not normal. Um, yeah, he's the plant operator and, and they were very excited to, uh, to get full bucket loads of that um, material that is handleable enough to be uh, loaded into the back of the haul truck, uh, like you're seeing right here. Um, previously, they had the slurry running through a series of five settling ponds. And um, even at the end of that, uh, long circuit, uh, the water was still not clean and, and their sand was, was still out of spec. There's no water in the material, is there? Not in the material, no. It's just what you're scooping. Yeah, it's just what gets trapped in that bucket. You could never put that in that truck before like that. No. You always had to put it here and let it kind of settle out that little bit more. That's what he said there. You know, we're about 26 cents a ton adding this chemical. I think just by being able to load the trucks is gonna be 26 cents a ton. Oh yeah. yeah. At least then you're only moving it once. Right. Yeah. Not two or three times. Even if in the morning, whoever's digging, digs, fills the truck and then fills whatever in the hole while she's gone, you know. That would make that hole go from last than two days to probably two weeks, one week. Yeah, cause it, it does start to get soupy over here. And that could be where it started from this morning. But, yeah, every, from about right here to where I'm at now, every bucket's been solid. We're losing a lot less water out of this pond when you dig it, too. Before we'd dig this pond, Nate, and it'd be down eight feet. Mm -hmm. And here's the clean water that is leaving that single pond that they were able to boil the whole operation down to. Um, here you'll get a a sense of the water clarity that we were able to achieve. Um, so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, feel free to contact us to find out how we can come up with a solution to suit your application.